New tonight, it's estimated that of the more than 23,000 children who age out of foster care, 20% find themselves instantly homeless. Life on the streets puts these teens at greater risk for becoming incarcerated or trafficked. And that frightening reality inspired a local organization to become the first in the state to provide not just a place for these vulnerable youth to lay their heads, but also a place to address the trauma of life in foster care. By all accounts, Jayana Yasha is your typical college student, trying to juggle studying with socializing and excited about learning to live on her own. My favorite thing about this house is the kitchen. I love to cook. I cook almost every day. Even though she has a full slate of classes this semester, she could write a book on all she's already learned in life. I actually remember the day I got put back into the system. After being pulled from an abusive home at four years old, Jayana and her siblings found themselves in the same position 11 years later when she got this call. The CPS is on their way. Ever since that day, I have never lived in a home with my siblings. The life she knew vanished, shuffling among so many foster homes, she lost count. The unknown scarier than the place she once called home. Even though I was getting abused in the home I was in, it was just, it became a normal for me. So I was more afraid of being somewhere else. Despite everything, she persevered, graduated high school, and earned a full ride to Albion College. But she still wasn't able to shake the trauma from her childhood until she found out about a new program in mid-Michigan. Before coming here, I was mentally at my lowest. In January, Jayana joined River Jordan's new housing program in Bay County for young adults transitioning out of foster care. This is our dining area. The first of its kind in the state. The goal is to provide a safe place to make mistakes, um, a safe place to uh, learn consistency, um, you know, just a safe place to transition. It's the brainchild of Ayland Stamps, who knows the heartbreaking reality of turning 18 as a foster care kid. If they don't have a cousin or uncle or a foster parent that is willing to let them stay with them, the worker has no choice but to take them to a homeless shelter because they're 18. And Stamp says all too often, homeless young men and women get hooked up with the wrong people looking for protection from the streets. It's something he experienced firsthand. I was in 20 different placements, and uh, when I aged out of foster care, I aged out into homelessness. Um, I got on drugs and ended up going to prison. The whole reason why I, I started this is because I didn't want to see other foster youth or alumni going through hell until they got in their late 30s and 40s and then decided that they wanted to, you know, address their recovery. And while these homes are meant to be a soft place to land, they're also a place for hard conversations about trauma and mental health. They don't deal with things, and then it comes back to haunt them. It, um, it, it hurts when they're trying to uh, have relationships with other people. River Jordan hopes this 18-month-long program helps its clients open the door to a whole new perspective. Peer support in itself is like a bridge. And each member of River Jordan is a builder of that bridge, tearing down old stigmas to lay a new foundation. To get them here and they see me, Al, Jayana, as alumni. We, we not only made it out, we're working, you know, we are representing recovery, we're representing hope, we're representing that it's a way to live through the trauma and past the trauma that you've experienced. I wouldn't be the person I am today if I hadn't have gone through those things. Growing not just from her past, but in spite of it. Amid her own recovery journey, she's preparing to serve as a mentor to her future roommates. I want them to, I just want them to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel, that they, they do have a chance at a bright future, that your past does not have to define you. And through her story, she hopes to rewrite the future for former foster care kids like her. 
Jayana is studying at Delta College to become a psychotherapist while also serving as the women's house manager. The men's transitional home is finished and the women's has three bedrooms done. But River Jordan needs help with funding the renovation of two more bedrooms and a bathroom after the pandemic canceled its fundraisers.